Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to see how to make Singapore noodle. It's a homemade Singapore curry powder. I'm going to show you how you can make this delicious noodle at home. Food is God gift. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. So friends, the Singapore noodle is famous in Malaysia and all over Asia. It's delicious and with the curry powder. So let's see what you need. You need a 6 cup cooked rice noodle, cabbage, carrot, onion, ginger, garlic, shrimp, chicken, eggs, lemon, soy sauce, roasted peanut, spring onion and coriander leaves and the Singapore curry powder. So friends, I leave the link below. Please check for how to make Singapore curry powder. So friend, in the one pot, I just add uh, the dry noodles and going to pour the hot water and then let it soak for 10 minutes. So the noodles are ready, we're going to drain it and we can prepare our fried noodles. So friend, I highly recommend, please prepare all the ingredients before you make this noodle so you, it's going to be quick and easy and it's no time you have the delicious meal on your table so in the big wok i just add about two tablespoon oil you can use any oil i recommended peanut oil is a good give nice flavor so friend i just add a chop ginger garlic onion so i'm just give a nice stir it should be take like a one minute once we can add a, a chicken before i start i just add about half teaspoon a chili powder the curry powder that we homemade curry powder and i'm just going to uh, mix it all the chicken chicken no need to be fully cooked we just keep adding each ingredient and we keep stirring so same thing about a uh, half teaspoon curry powder i just mix with the the shrimp so now I'm going to add it We've cut vegetables that I have here today is a cabbage and carrot you always can add any favorite vegetable in this dish it's really give nice flavor when you have that some vegetable in your noodles so I just cut like a shredded so it's pretty much same like uh, the rice noodle so when you eat with a chopstick it's to come nicely kind of noodly so i'm just add the curry powder in this stage and soy sauce and i'm going to squeeze half of lemon so the lemon give nice uh, citrusy flavor and actually it really give a nice balance sweet sour spicy it's really mild it's not too spicy you always can add uh, any thai chili in this dish if you like to nice and heat so it's all your option so we're going to give a nice stir now add the sugar so sugar give balance to our dish it's not giving the sweetness so just give it a nice balance to our noodles so now i'm adding that 70 percent cooked noodles that we just soak it with the hot water so i'm going to give a nice stir so we're going to keep stirring about five minutes until the noodles will cooked and become uh, fluff and soft that is the stage we want to take it out so friends uh, I just like to talk a little bit more about the Singapore noodle uh, so this is uh, now become very famous and whole worldwide because the curry flavor is so mild and it's really being everybody start liking this uh, curry flavor in the rice noodle so it's very delicate and uh, comfort food so friends uh, this dish is special because I use the homemade Singapore curry powder so now I'm adding that chopped uh, spring onion and then coriander leaves so this is a uh, give nice garnishing and good aroma to our noodles and we are going to keep stir it it's almost ready and in the end we're going to add that uh, roasted peanut 
So the roasted peanut, uh, I just crush it and then I just pound it with my pastel mortar so I have like a nice uh, kosher and bite. So it is good, a nice crunch on our noodles and it's so delicate, mild, friends. So now I'm going to show you how I make that cube uh, egg. So it's like a tofu egg. So I just top it on my Singapore fried noodles. Just look at this friends. It's so delicious. Smells so good. It's a uh, homemade. And this is special because again I made this uh, curry powder. It's so homemade. Please check the recipe in the link below. So friends, uh, I just uh, have some garnishing on the top. So I cut the egg that we fried like a cube size. So and then we're going garnish on the top. It's a little bit like a tofu egg. It's so delicious, friend. So again, I have some of the chili soy sauce. I'm going to leave the recipe in the description below. So check it out. And I have the pickle jalapeno. So it's really good combination spicy and sweet and sour is so good it's just delicious friend and um, please uh, give a try this recipe and leave a comment if you have any questions and I hope you will enjoy this homemade Singapore noodle at your home no time please uh, share like and subscribe to my channel to get more delicious recipe i hope you have a wonderful day thank you